Today the topic of discussion is stored procedure in PLSQL. So we'll understand this important topic. What is stored procedure and how we create stored procedure and how we make a use of stored procedure. Okay. Prior to this, we have understood what is function in PLSQL. Now our job is to understand stored procedure. Let's start. Stored procedure in PLSQL. Our stored procedure is self-contained sub-program. It's similar to functions. Our stored procedure is a self-contained sub-program fine which are meant for doing some specific well-defined task we create procedure like function we create procedure also for doing some specific task okay fine okay stored procedure are named pl sql block like function stored procedure are also named pl sql blocks they are some block of statement which means they can be stored in a database as database object so we can store this block in database as database objects and can be reused and this is what of the important factor of creating procedure and function what because we can once we create and many times we can use it okay fine okay now very important unlike pl sql function procedure do not return a value so prior to this when we were studying function we have seen that function return a value but procedure do not return a value procedure do not return any value fine okay so there are two type of sub programs we have understood one is pl pl sql function we have cleared this we have understood this and now the second topic which we are going to study today is pl sql procedures fine okay let's start the syntax syntax is create after that or replace if you want to replace a created then you would replace then procedure then procedure name and after then parameters whatever parameters you use in whatever may be the parameter you used in procedure fine okay then no written type because this is a procedure and just now we have shown that we have clearly mentioned that procedure do not return a value then is then declare variable or constant whatever you want to declare then begin and then procedure body and then end and you write a slash for running so this part is called execution part and this is called header part fine okay so let's begin with an example how, so that you can understand how we create a procedure and how we run the procedure let's see stored procedure in plsql so one syntax is a uh, very important uh, and very easy procedure that is we have created we have created create procedure procd uh, this is the name of procedure you can write anything you can write procd you can write uh, uh, pl you can write whatever you want to write you can write anything okay so create procedure procd is then we have created two variable one is v name v underscore name one is v country both have data type where care okay so v name contains we have we have initialized v name with john and we have initialized semicolon will come over here fine okay and we have initialized v country with united states fine okay and after that what we are doing is that we are printing and what what is the line of printing in dbms is dbms underscore output dot put line put underscore line hello i am so this will be printed as it is then v name what is v name john so john will come so hello i am john then this from will print it as it is and v country what is there in v country united states so the output will be hello i am john from united states so one important part so the moment you print this line so in order to see the output you have to run this command prior to this line so set server output on is a command which is used for di displaying output of dbms underscore output dot put underscore line <coughs> excuse me okay so to run above procedure in order to run the procedure what do you do you write pr begin then procd semicolon fine okay then end and slash so this is one of the method of running this procedure or there is another method you can write execute procd that is write execute and the name of procedure or there is one more method or there is one more method you can write only exec and procedure name procedure name is procd fine so these are three methods by which you can run the procedure fine okay so okay let's start so these are all theoretical methods. so let's start with uh, let me show you how we can run this okay so let me show you how we can run all this procedure so let me start with the procedure and i have already created this procedure so i'm not going to waste our time of yours so i've already created a procedure procd1 fine this okay control c and control b 
now you can see this is create procedure and the name of procedure is procd1 whatever you want you can write is then we have created two variable v name and v country their data type is varchar fine and size is 10 and 16 respectively in v name we have initialized with john and v country we have initialized with united states then begin and what we are trying to print dbms underscore output dot put line hello i am v name from v country fine and let me run this okay procedure created so successfully you have created this procedure which procedure procd1 so how to run this one method is b e g i n begin then p r o c d1 procedure name semicolon then e n d end semicolon and then slash and now you can see hello you can see the output hello i am john from united states fine so we have finally run this procedure one method different another method E X E C U T E execute okay execute then procedure is P R O C D one fine okay see again after execute you are finding output hello I am John from United States one more method E X E C and procedure name P R O C D one fine again you can see after E X E D P R O C D you are finding output hello i am john and from united states so this is the three method these are three methods through which you can run your procedure okay so at last what i'll say the thing which i always say is what thank you so much thank you so much